Welcome back. We're continuing the news. The government says the recent breaches identified with the Jam COVID application built by the Amber Group have not soured its relationship with the entity. Our reporter Javon Keyes questioned government officials on the matter at Wednesday morning's post-cabinet press briefing. It's been days of revelations showing weaknesses in the online framework of the Jam COVID application set up for the Jamaican government by Amber Group. Travel, medical and administrative data of scores of users were left on the open web. Additionally, passwords granting access to the application's back-end databases were also left vulnerable. This after assurances by the government and the Amber Group that steps were taken to secure the data from the website and application. But despite these instances of what some have described as cyber negligence and growing distrust for the platforms by citizens, the government continues to express confidence in the Amber Group. I don't know if there's any information out there about uh, that I could report on regarding the relationship. The fact of the matter is that challenges were on earth. Um, it's not strange that websites would demonstrate vulnerability. It happens all the time. We have recent cases where the Pentagon was hacked. We have recent cases where several other major websites were hacked. I think what is important is the actions post finding out the information. And based on my communications with the Ministry of National Security, they are currently looking at every single government-related websites to see if there are any vulnerabilities that exist there. It's, however, early days yet to be sure of how things will play out. An audit of the breaches has been commissioned, led by the Ministry of National Security. We asked for an update on the audit. I do not want to preempt announcements that are going to come in the coming days. A lot has been said over the last couple of days about the matter, and I think the decision has been made to let us look at the facts, let us understand the processes that have taken place over the last several months, and then come to the nation with a fulsome understanding of what took place, what didn't take place, what have we done since the information came to the fore, and what we'll be doing going forward. Mr. Morgan says the findings should be revealed in the coming days. But in a release on Tuesday, the ministry said based on investigations so far, there's no evidence that the vulnerabilities identified were exploited for malicious data extraction or leakage. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.